what would you say if I told you one of Hollywood's most eligible bachelors lives in his mama's basement? What? Mm. Wait, who? These are facts, people. Oh. Saturday Night Live star Pete Davidson, who's currently dating actress Kate Beckinsale, was recently on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon and revealed that since his breakup from his ex, Ariana Grande, he's been residing in his mom's basement. Huh. Now, Pete said he's even trying to get an arcade set up down there. Pete said he got made fun of for it, calling it his man cave. Huh. So now he just calls it, quote, the Wait. basement. So, the basement. ladies... If you were going through tough times, would you be willing to live below your mom? Below okay. my mom. Let's, let's just start off by making it real clear. I'm with you guys. It sounds kind of cray-cray, especially if it's your man that's staying with his mom. I understand if a man needs, like, a moment. But if it's your man, then there's a whole other stigma to that, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Pete Davidson and his mom is living in a place they put in together, and it's a $4.5 million oh. mansion. Oh, Makes a okay. difference. With a whole other set of wings and stuff. So it is a different situation. Yeah. But back to the regular schmegulars. Okay. I understand. We judge if you live with your mama. <laughs> that's true. No, that's real. No, Most women would be like, wait. He lives with his mama. Like, mm-hmm. that doesn't sound cute in this case. Yeah. It's a multi-million dollar house that he bought for his mama. Totally different situation. Yeah. Well, right, right. It also means it's emotional reasons, too. Pete, mm. Pete Davidson's dad was one of the victims of um, uh, 9-11. Tragedy. So, I my thing is, that. if yeah, if I was dating someone, I would ask, why yeah. are you living, of you know, course, yeah. and then maybe that, you know, but if you just live in there because you just, just you living know. There. Living there. Or because it, like, you can't afford Right, you know. To... Well, I don't think. I think if you can't afford, you may not be able to afford to date. So that might be, you know. If you can't afford to live on your own, right? Okay. I even think, you know, maybe if you had a roommate. For me, it's more so my independence. Like, I think mm-hmm. the greatest compliment I could ever give to my mom, or the greatest compliment she could hear, is the fact that I am an independent woman, and that's why I wouldn't want to go back to living with my mom. She raised me to. I know this sounds weird, but there is a certain way that I like my home. Ah, I'm I'm uh a bit OCD. My mom, I did get that from her. She's a very clean woman. But it's still my home. And she always takes great pleasure in seeing how I set up my different homes, even when I've moved, even when I had little apartments in New York City. But it was still my space and my home. And at 35 years old, I still, I require that. And she respects that. I love to go visit my mom. There's nothing wrong with that. But I need my own space space. as a grown woman. I could do it. Well, the basement is your own space. No, I know. That's my my mom's space. Yeah. It's it's your own space. I mean, if it's like a different, uh, you know, because some basements, it's like your own private interest, stuff like like that. Like Mama Mai lives with me, and it's my house completely. But I love that I share space with my mom right now because after I got divorced, Mama Mai wanted to move in and hang out with me. She just hasn't left yet. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) Can I say that? Hi, key kidding, because... um, For anybody who moves back or or that takes that time, there's something that a parent adds in that area of love that you need to just feel comforted and just feel like I'm safe and I'm okay, especially a big transition like getting divorced. So in this case, I feel like it's my home. And then there's areas where you're right because they're elder. They're going to do some things where you're like, for you, I felt like, I feel like I just heard myself say mommy because you say mommy. Oh, yeah. Like where you're like, why is she hanging the dishes this way or whatever? Do you guys argue at all? All day, every day. Yes. Yeah. yes. But that's my mom. That's yeah, what I yeah, love. Yeah. Our, our love language is not real arguing. It's like, yeah. it's like you know, why you put the underwear in the washing machine? I do it for you by hand. Oh, and I'm like, that's because nice. Because I bought a washing machine, you know? Yeah. yeah. The difference I between a little bit of old school and new generation. Yeah. See, right. 